thank you everyone for coming, especially thank you for my lovely advisor, Dr. Isabelita Papuaro. Thank you, Mark, for coming. And Dr. Eddie, thank you. Especially also for our lovely dog mate, Sega Dong. <laughs> I saw a lot of them, and I make me more confident. Okay, welcome to Vietnam. This is my topic about the analysis of the light chi, the chi competitiveness, and what are what are regards to practice in Bắc Giang Group in Vietnam. <coughs> As you know, the Vietnamese the fruit is included pomelo, dragon fruit style for Mongolia, Rambutan, and light chi. It's a very grow now because the income per hectare greater from four to eight times than rice growing. And especially you can see uh, with lychee, the few countries in the world can produce. That's why Vietnam uh, is ranked top five of producing lychee. Thus, after China, India, Taiwan, and Thailand. And two main lychee growing in Vietnam, namely Bắc Giang and Hải Dương. With Bắc Giang with 177 uh, tons, it gets around 81% total production. Lychee production in Vietnam. The rank second is Hải Dương with 13,000 tons. And with 32.6% of the total amount of lychee produced in this growing, the Bắc Giang growing for export, it got around 890 billion Vietnam And uh, it contributes around 2.5% positive in this growing. And with the biggest amount of lychee export in Vietnam, Bắc Giang has good <coughs> However, the price of lychee is very low and unstable. And the exporters are the ones who have power to control the price. And this problem may be due to lack of government support for lychee production, habiting, marketing, and export. Nonetheless, the fact that lychee has export potential may indicate that Bắc Giang has competitive and competitive advantages in producing the food. If so, there may be justified reason for the government to support for the light energy. And in particular, the gap was introduced by Minichi Agricultural and Development in Vietnam, in Bắc Giang as a pilot area. It's important to know how the good agricultural writing could be promoted in the light energy. <coughs> and if it could be so that the gap improves the competitiveness of the light energy, then it would be promoted among the lighting works in this example. So, come up from the statement. The objective of this study about the uh, evaluation of competitiveness of the lighting industry and production of the country in Bakhsan proving and the sub-objective here are uh, analysis the status of the lighting industry in Bakhsan proving Evaluate the extent of and factor of building adoption of the gap in lighting energy in Bắc Giang Covid. Determine and compare the comparative and competitive advantages of the lighting energy in Bắc Giang Covid, considering two group farmers, this is Việt Gap and Nam Việt farmer. And assess the factor that influence the competitiveness of the lighting energy in Bắc Giang Covid and provide the policy recommendation to improve the competitiveness of the lighting energy in Vietnam. Uh, some friends, when I ask, uh, you know, about IT, they said, don't have it in their country, so they don't know. So, I would like to introduce you this IT. And it's a subtropical fruit straw. Um, it's irregular flowering and poor food retention. Um, so, three, take three to five years to come into production, and we're not producing substantial growth until the seven or eight year. And this, uh, this problem, that's why when we choose the uh, the tree for our survey, uh, we choose the um, the, the light tree start growing from the common year, and for our area, the common year growing light tree from 1994. So it's been um, now it's already like the shadow tree, right? Yes. And um, the fruit only ripen right on the tree and have very short shelf life. Right? It's a problem for the uh, it's need for both kinds. Environmental, economic, and social sustainability 
go on can process and result in safe and quality food and not food agriculture product. The gap based on Asian gap and now it is new and developed to Euro gap and global gap. It consists of processes that cover registering all components of food safety and medical management, worker health, safety and welfare, production quality. And Pakistan is the first province in Vietnam to apply the gap on light tea production and this step from 2008. For concept of competitiveness, we use uh, resource code ratio it's, uh, to determine the competitive, competitive advantage uh, and resource code ratio in private right, to determine the competitive advantage. And uh, if the, this rate is less than less than one, we can conclude uh, the light tea competitive, uh, the light tea energy have competitiveness. And as a measure, we use is the less social group with stability and net private group with stability. And you can see very fast about the conceptual framework uh, to determine the competitiveness. Look at the uh, you can see from here, the input, we, we have three components. The first is domestic factor. Domestic factor with land level capital. The second is indirectly input. And the, uh, it's, uh, in our study, it includes liquid, pesticide, pump, or sprayer. And for change of input, it needs to learn potassium. And from the uh, three kind of inputs, we determine the the both especially is two kinds of goals, economic goals and financial goals. And from economic goals and revenue, it determines the competitive advantage. And from financial goals and revenue, it determines the competitive advantage. And based on the uh, energy, light, light energy competitiveness, we give the uh, policy recommendation and improve the macroeconomic policy, like the recommendation for the government and also increase the BICAP program. And uh, I would like to introduce you about our research area. Um, our research area is is Pakistan growing. It's located in the north uh, east of Vietnam. And uh, it has the climate, it's tropical climate with high humidity and the weather is suitable for growing light tea. Um, uh, because, as you know, the uh, weather, the condition weather, swings for the grow light tea, you need to have at least one month per year, it's very cold, to have the flower to become the fruit. That's why it's very suitable in this area. And to, uh, to this trick, we choose in this growing, namely Lugna and Lugna district. Uh, because, the first is because it is the the area have uh, the blended area is very big. big. Um, in Lukna, it has more than 18,000 hectare, and in Lukna, it more than 6,000 hectare uh, blended area for Lachi. So, the second reason uh, because we would like to compare for Lukna, we already applied the Vietnam program, and Lukna is not yet applied the Vietnam program. And for our uh, data, we use the, for collecting data, we have the three methods. The first for personal interview of Lachi farmer to trader and the Lachi transporter. We also have group discussion uh, with the farmer and leader of business for them to say the experience and also the difficulty. And also we discuss with the key, key common interview of the leader of the group. For secondary data, almost we got the data from the investment especially in the local department and from farm and internet. For how many, it might how many the sample size we should choose for our survey. We use apply the formula from Bariam 1973. And based on this formula, we need to mind we have 100 respondents should be interviewed. And uh, in Lugna, we have 43 respondents. And in Lugna, we have 57 in seven respondents. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, all of the respondents, they start growing like it from the common year 1994. For the method of analysis, for descriptive analysis, and the second
say that this big gap of adoption, I really see. I apply so Lugi model to determine the factor of fitting the extent of adoption of big gap. So this is a variable for the Lugi model. Um, so first is A of how how head. So second, it looks the nutrient of farmer. So third is farm size. So for the next profit of like the farm river, like the season. In our survey, we consider in 2010. And assess BT to deliver information on the gap is a dummy variable. And another dummy variable is membership in like the farmer group. And the last, the last uh, tool to determine uh, the competitiveness of like the city, we come up with the policy analysis metric uh, table. So you can see this is a table of policy analysis metric. And um, to determine the social right, we use the social beliefs methodology to determine. Uh, especially social right of output, trade input, natural input, and domestic factors that have land, labor, and capital. And from that table, we determine the resource corporate social right and resource corporate as private right. And after that, uh, we can uh, see its competitiveness or not. And last one, we use sensitive, sensitivity analysis to estimate the degree of responsiveness of the life industry competitiveness. And this factor will assess to worry 1% assuming all other factors constant. And this is our result and discussion. The first about the status of the LIG Mustang movie. You can see the total LIG production increased from 1997 to 2009. You can see it in this, uh, this line. And, but this line decreased from 2009 to 2010 for almost the same extent for the <coughs> For year, uh, this is the average year of light production uh, with tons per hectare uh, according to uh, the gross leaching in Bakhtan Groovy. So the highest can see 6.5 tons per hectare in Lukna and follow is uh, in Lukna and the average of whole district is uh, 577. This is the price, like I mentioned before, is very fluctuated and fluctuate uh, and but uh, look at it have red, red line you can see uh, it was not only able to maintain a high price but also but also it can keep the stable lighting right up to uh, the end of the season because with lighting we, we can see it have some kind of variety one is right in the uh, early we can see the body early right of free right in the lighting and another is the uh, is the uh, right left the uh, they call this name Kyolaichi and it has very different price between two kinds of lighty. But in the area they apply the gap, it can keep or remain the price up to the end of the season. And you can see here, for example, uh, the growing up the end of season is less than five thousand Vietnam dong. If five thousand Vietnam dong, if you uh, converse to peso, you know how much per kilo. <laughs> it's not 10 peso per kilo. And uh, amazing, if you see the light tea, um, during the season in Provincial, if they sell it, it's at least 150 peso per one kilo. So it's very cheap during the end season. And this is uh, a light tea marketing channel in 2011 in this province. And the total production in this province is 230,000 tons, and it's distributed to export around 32.6 percent. Uh, almost the export to Chinese market, and then some uh, export to Russia or Taiwan. And other is come to domestic consumption around 67.4 percent, and thus uh, 51,000 uh, 51, to the supermarket, and other is local market. This is about the implementation of Big Gap. And it start, the program starts from 2008 with 3,000 uh, and 200 hectares. And now 2011, it's 5,700 hectares. It, and um, the, uh, when the start from 2008, it has to buy book for the farmer. 
with pair brackets and now the farmer continue follow the pair brackets and the Vietnam farmer was happy to sell their product for an average price of around 15,000 Vietnam dollars per kilo normally based on the agreement between the farmer and collector uh, they are they are three three kind of or three glasses of the light tea maybe first glass second glass and third glass you can see the difference between uh, three glass because of light tea by uh, this material. So um, almost all of the gas number belong to the first plant and it is the reason why the Vietnam light tea get higher price than others. And before um, <coughs> the supermarket in Vietnam they they choose the high sun growing because high sun growing is the original growing for pure light tea in, in, in the 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 good variety in Vietnam. But now they need to slow down growing because they, they can get the smooth glass of light tea. And also, if you can, uh, if you read the some news now, the um, consumer, the Chinese consumer, they now they they six or uh, tend to get the high growth, high quality of the light tea. And their light tea cannot grow if the the light tea can get the first glass. So that's why they. Um, they go to the program moving to, to import a lot. And in order, in order to miss the requirement to certify the first black IT event that they, they give to the farmer well variety sets of Vietnam. And uh, you, you can see later on well variety sets. And this this one is the uh, I want to show about the characteristic of Vietnam IT member and not Vietnam IT member for you see the overall of the, the farmer who we already interview. And look us uh, about the age, about the uh, household size or like farm size, it's not significant. At 10% of probability level, it means it don't have the, so much difference between two groups with combat. Uh, but for density, it means a tree per hectare and like productivity kilogram per hectare significant at one percent of property level because if you can see the Vietnam farmer they just grow 288 tree per hectare but the non Vietnam farmer they grow 326 tree per hectare and the life productivity of course is been higher in the Vietnam farmer group with the more than 30,000 tons per hectare and in the government is more than 12,000 per hectare. And the percentage income contribution from the light industry uh, is 80% in Vietnam farmer and 55% in the government. And overall, it's 65% in uh, this, this our uh, respondent, so it's quite high uh, for the contribution, income contribution from the light industry. So now you can see uh, about the, a, little deep, a little view of the compare between the Vietnam and non Vietnam farmer via the, their practices. The first practices I would like to mention about is about the light tea variety. So the non Vietnam farmer, the, they grow the pre ripened variety in total light tea around. 18.5% and for the Vietnam farmer, they grow 35%. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you can see why it's different because um, they complain about when we grow the pre ripe light like tea, it's difficult to take how difficult to take and they need more time or more labor to uh, concern or to take care of their light like tea or chat. That's why the non Vietnam farmer, they just choose the variety. It's easy to grow. Even they no need to take care, they still get the uh, real of light tea. But for Vietnam farmers, they choose the one that has good quality. Even they have to um, need more time or more labor to take care of. And uh, one more difference, one more difference between them, they grab because they they according to the guidelines from Vietnam, they got more they got more the variety. Even now the the light is already grow and big. And the second variety says, and it's a key difference between two groups, it's 
creating canopy and ruining. Because you know that the, the one studying polyculture, you know that the creating canopy and ruining is very very important for um, when we want to come up or when not for the the light is have good aquarium, good aquarium, or uh, good nutrients or something like that. And uh, they, the number of customers they produce when very late, normally two or three months because they, they want to renew the stress after the harvesting season. But for the big customers they grow after harvest and um, but they, they grow one per year. But actually they visit the orchards the, normally and they found the busy to grow it immediately. As a fertilizer application or um, pesticide application, the difference between two groups almost about they, they use the, the total volume of uh, fertilizer and pesticide between different between two groups. With um, fertilizer application in the number of number, they use less, uh, they, they use less potassium because they said potassium is expensive because the input price is quite high in Argentina. And the the customers are willing to spend or willing to invest the potassium. That's why the potassium you can see it around uh, they, they apply around the uh, potassium one one hundred kilogram potassium per hectare in number of customer, but two point eight two eighty five kilogram per um, hectare for the big customer. It means it's twice that or just that. Uh, and in the gap farmer, around 88% 80, of the gap respondents they record their fertilizer application method and it's equal to the price of fertilizer, the time applied, and some other details to inform to the intention worker. And it's also for pesticide application, but the difference is um, in, for pesticide application, um, they the farmer use pay cover, but they did not usually use rope or hemp since they said the light chi chi in Lukman. That means so you didn't apply the big up um, the big up program. Um, they said so the chi is shorter than as a chi because if you make the chi is shorter, the cut of pruning is shorter. They said it's easy to take care and when they have it, no need to rent or to hide so many labels to have the light chi. And it's a really different also. And the big farmer, they make it have the the big, the big set, the big um, brands. And yes, and uh, according to that, they they of course they apply better the closing, products big closing. This I would just want to uh, say some the difference between the group and for habit also. So the time they decide to have it, it also different between two groups. If the have it time for the number of farmer, they said they have it like tea as soon as possible or whenever they found there is a demand for all the market and the farmer is now the same period after chemical application and focus more on the profit. And the big farmer, they decide the time to have it be, be, uh, be, um, based on the color and size of light tea. And Based on the is their experience also, they knew when the time we do have it is good quality of wood for ripening level. Uh, but the problem, the same, the same difficulty between uh, in both two group is uh, now they they use very poor equipment to build the light tree, such as sticker, bamboo frame or bamboo chair, bamboo basket. Um, that's why they they consume or they need to hire lots of labor and very difficult for them. Uh, one, one more difference between two groups is the, um, they, for the big farmer, they use canvas when they harvest to avoid the dirt to like the uh, product. And uh, between two groups, just have big farmer, they can uh, access or they can go to the uh, supermarket in Hà Nội. It's the capital in Vietnam. Right? 20% of the gap producer eating around 9 cents for them. Okay, this uh, you can see the little image about the animal, right? This is the gap farmer. And uh, this is the, the farmer, um, the one they 
uh, insulin disease or check and start pulling easy after the Pfizer disease. And this is the brand you can see for Vega uh, um, before they go to the supermarket. And this is the extent of production of Vega. Um, you can see this follow is the 12 breakage test of Vega breakage and uh, 100% it means 43 our respondents will satisfy the first soil and water of the requirement from Vietnam. And another breaking set like depending on storage and transport, 41, uh, 41 respondents or 95% they satisfy. But uh, uh, no one of them, um, they are like internal office because they say it's not uh, have any meaning or it's not important with their production. And all respondents, you can see from the extent of the government, all respondents say they get more advantage when the extension worker and like group members support them with their practices. Um, and this is the reason why uh, all of them apply at least six, you can see, uh, uh, at least six practices. And two among our respondents, they apply uh, 10 practices, and two of them have believed that, like this, and in this uh, area and uh, this motivation for them to learn the new technology and say it's going to another. And from this model, we can see um, it's have, sorry, it's have the uh, net profit accessibility to information membership in IT. It has significantly uh, influence to uh, grow really high production of uh, And maybe you can consider why it's have negative side in farm side, it means if the farmer increase one hectare of um, Nike farm, they will degree high degree probability high adoption of that. Because according to them, if they are, they have more or have more, more farm or they have bigger farm size, they need more labor. It's really problem in the Nike production. And this one, the farm or the uh, police analysis project. And you can see from Rubin, uh, uh, so both Lung Nga and Lung Nga or Bắc Giang Rubin, they get profitability from Lai Chi But in, in uh, okay, based on from this table, it's determined the indicator of very abundance. Look at Lung Nga it has the resource goal rate of around 0 0.558, and Lung Nga it has 0 0.88. And among this also we could have the group have high resin and low resin beta. This, uh, this one is resource code radio. And another uh, with resource code radio, but it might be private price, it also have different. So uh, all of the ratio of resource code radio we see here and here is less than one. It means this have a uh, light like competitiveness in what I'm doing. But among this, uh, our group is have different. Uh, it's close to one, it means the Lugna teaching is have less than competitiveness than Lugna teaching. They apply with that. And based on the sensitivity or the risk of the cost ratio and electricity, we can see the factor like Lai cost, right? Interest on capital labor cost, official interest, and Lai Chi here is have the effect on the Lai Chi but I highlight here, it's have like Chico Bright and Officer Agent and Label Post. So one have uh, effect on positive to the like Chico Advantage, uh, competitive advantage. So uh, how do we in increase the like Chico Bright to it's in it also increase the uh, competitive advantage here? And it's need more the, more the technology or we can support more for this. Uh. And for Label Post, it's the I mentioned a lot before. We saw with label cost, if it increases the label cost, it will reduce the uh, competitive advantage. So, of course, uh, have some recommendation to re to apply more technology and reduce the label cost for the farmer is very important. And also, it's a red, you can see it's, if it increases the office or it's a red in Vietnam, it will increase the uh, competitive advantage. And of course, if it increases the office or it's a red, Because it will come up with inflation, so I will not 
they comment about that. I just uh, would like to give the, some short recommendation about the uh, apply more, just maybe increase more for this program, but develop for um, especially the how can check or how can um, how can uh, improve for the intensive group and the light group. And also recommend an improvement of the input distribution system, price stabilization, and visual function. And uh, increase the membership to light like or group group association. And of course, the last one I would like to say is improve the merging of equipment and tool for light like production. And this, uh, thank you so much. And
is I wish most of the practices are used for age group and student transfer that is go change or yes. Uh, yes. Thank you Tata she from Computer. And during my study I also asked her lots about the technique. <laughs> and also concern actually um, our our study is uh, concentrated on press lighting. Because um, in China, they, they uh, import lighting. It's not only for them uh, to uh, support for their industry, lighting just uh, come up for uh, their, uh, how can I say, um, after, after light like, can or uh, dry lighting. They, they sell directly the fresh lighting. Uh, uh, from Luma digit to their consumer. So that's why come up now in the news or the bulletin in, in, on the internet, you can find on the internet. The lights in Luma is for sale in uh, Guangzhou province in China and it has around 220,000 Vietnam dollars. And it's, uh, um, it's in, how can I say, uh, more than my country is so the price they buy, buy my country around 100 times. So it is the reason why now they import a lot because of the demand from the consumer, especially for the price.